What's up my reseller friends? My name is Sabrina. I thrift to resell on eBay, Macari, a little bit of Poshmark. I am a full-time seller out of the Riverside County, Southern California area. And in this video, I just really want to follow up to a video that I posted about a year ago. And it was all about tips and tricks for selling DVDs. And it, it to this day is my most popular video. I'm still getting tons of views and comments on that video. But Looking back at it, I just know that so much has changed. The world's changed, eBay's changed, and me as a seller and the way I do things have changed a lot. Because that was my most popular video, I really feel like I should make an update. So I pretty much sell in three different categories. Clothing, toys and collectibles, and media. So that includes books, CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, CDs, video games. Um, but I really, really love selling movies. That's one of my favorite things to sell, mostly because they're just so easy to list and I can just ship them so quickly. I can store them easily. And I just love movies. I'm just a dork in general. So I just really like movies a lot. Excuse if there's noise in the background. I am filming this with my garage door open. It is a Sunday afternoon. So there are people out in the neighborhood doing yard work and whatnot. But you know, there are a few things I just really wanted to bring up about DVDs when comparing it to my video last year, which I will link below if you want to see it. But in my last video, I talked a lot about how DVDs are just such great sellers and they still are, but I have noticed that DVDs just don't sell as good as they used to. So the value has gone down a little bit. It just seems like since last year, um, don't get me wrong, they are still great to pick up. I still ship movies out every single day, but it, I just feel like it has decreased a little bit since then. And then the big thing I really wanted to mention was I did talk about in that video that I don't really have any issues with shipping these items, um, that I don't really have like customer complaints or anything. That has drastically changed. Um, throughout the year, I have gotten a lot of cases opened up against me. Um, some of them are just because the movies got damaged in mail that they just took a long time to get to them. And I have gotten a couple saying that they didn't work, which to me, I feel like is probably a lie because I don't sell any movies that are in bad condition. But you know, people are just always going to scam you for certain things. I would not let that scare you into not selling because a huge difference too between this year and last year is that I have become a full-time seller. So I'm selling more things now. So, you know, more money, more problems. That's just the way it is. And then also I am now shipping from California versus last year I was shipping from Colorado. Colorado, I'm in the middle of the country. So, you know, the ship times are different compared now. If I'm shipping something media mail from California all the way to New York, it's going to take longer. So there's just those things to consider, but um, I would definitely make sure that you are shipping your items securely. Don't ship a movie in just a regular poly bag. Make sure it's padded. And if there is an issue with the order, take care of the customer. Um, never assume that someone's trying to scam you, even though people do scam you. But always give the customer the benefit of the doubt and always do the right thing at the end. But don't stress out about it and just if something happens, just handle it when it comes around. If I'm listing just a single movie by itself, I'll just do a quick sell as similar and just list it that way really quickly. However, if I am listing lots of movies in bulk, which I normally do because it's really rare that I just get one movie I normally buy in bulk, I want to show you my technique for how I list those fast. So please keep in mind that everything that I'm going to talk about, this is just what works best for me. There may be something out there that works better for you, but my hope is that maybe you'll take one or two things from this video and apply that towards your own techniques and maybe it will help you be able to be more efficient and get things listed fast because that's the whole objective of everything, right? If we want to be successful at selling, we have to be able to list these things fast. That way we can sell them quickly, get items out the door and reinvest that money back into our reselling business. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just switch on over to the computer and I'm going to show you how I do it. So the first thing I do is gather up the movies I'm planning on listing and I look up the comps for them before I do anything. So we're going to go ahead and do that together. 
I use one of these scanner guns. I did get this on Amazon. I bought it probably about two years ago. It's just a generic one. There's absolutely nothing special about it. I've probably dropped this on the hard cement here in my garage probably about at least 10 times, and it still works great. And I only paid $10 for this. Um, I don't know if it's still available for sale, but I will go ahead and link in the description um, either this one or one that I feel is comparable to it. There's really no use in spending a lot of money on one of these. Um, just a generic one will be totally fine. So, okay, so going back, we're going to go ahead and look up comps. And the way that I do that is I just scan the barcodes. I do not write in the title of the movie because this way it's faster. All right, so we're just going to scan the code on the back of the movie. And this is what pops up. So I'll go up here to sort by lowest first. Because when it comes to selling media, the trick is to be competitive in pricing. And that sucks. I hate the race to the bottom technique. But unfortunately, sometimes that's just the way you got to go, especially with media. You got to be um, very competitive if you want to move it quickly. Because there's so much media on eBay. I'm not going to look at right here. There's 52 results. I'm not the only one selling this movie. So my goal is when somebody's looking for this, I want them to buy mine over these 52 listings that are available. And what is it that I need to do to get somebody to choose me? Well, first I do have all my listings set as a top rated plus, meaning that because I'm top rated and I have free returns and I have one day shipping, I do qualify to have those particular listings as a top rated plus. And I do believe that gives you an edge over others that aren't. So I do have that on my side. And now I just got to figure out what is it that I need to do. And the first thing is to figure out the price. So I look by lowest and I want to look for whichever one is most like comparable to what I have. So just looking through, I'm going to skip over anybody that has a stock photo. I never lose, use stock photos. I do not recommend that you use them. They can backfire on you. If you use stock photos, customers can come back and say item wasn't as described and they will have no proof because you do not have pictures of the actual item in your listing. That has happened to me from using stock photos before. And then not only that, buyers just want to physically see what they're buying. Think of yourself as a buyer and you're coming here on eBay. I think the only time that it may be okay to do that is if you are selling something brand new, then maybe. But even then, I would never recommend using stock photos. Show the buyer exactly what it is that they're getting. They appreciate it. They will spend extra money to buy from you if they know exactly what they're getting versus somebody that they have no idea what kind of condition the item's gonna come in. All right, so we've got that. So this person right here probably has the most comparable to mine. Now, I do have a couple of things. Uh, I am a top rated plus, like I mentioned, this person is not, they do not offer free returns. I used to put all my media as free shipping, but I'm kind of trying to change that now and I am starting to charge for shipping. And my reason for that is just simply because I want to have a good like visual for myself when I'm sending offers and accepting offers. If I have shipping as like, additional, then it kind of gives me a better idea for how much I'm really going to be making when I do send those offers and accept those offers. So really, it's just like, just to help me um, not make mistakes on selling things too cheap. So that's why I'm kind of changing into charging shipping. Um, so for movies, I am charging $3.50 for shipping. It's only going to cost me $3.19 to ship, but I just like having a rounded up number. And I do like to charge a little bit extra for my cost of supplies too. And just to kind of cover, you know, cause I do promote all my items at 1%. So that will kind of, you know, kind of cover that too as well. So I'm just going to do an even 350. 
for return for shipping all right so getting back to this so this person is the one that's the most comparable but I do have that edge because I do offer the free returns I do ship in one business day and I think somebody would buy mine over them right so I am going to list this one for four dollars and fifty cents plus shipping and what I do is I just write it down on a piece of paper that that's how much I'm gonna list this one for. So when it comes to looking up sold items, I got a lot of criticism for this in my other video that I didn't look up solds. And you know, if you want to look up solds, go for it, do it. But for me, when I'm listing tons of movies, I feel like if I'm already listing this super cheap and I'm competitive with what's already listed, I feel like that's good enough. So if there's not very many to choose from, so I have more of a rare movie, or if I feel like the value of this movie is like over $13, then I will take the time to look up the comps just to make sure I got the right pricing. But when I'm just quickly trying to list these movies, I feel like this number that I got is already good enough. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Of course, this may be the wrong way for you. I don't know, everybody's different, but just for me, this is just what works because time is money and I just really wanna get these movies. I only have a certain amount of time during the day to be doing my listings, so I just wanna get as many of them listed as possible. So that's just what I do. Okay, next one. We've got Godzilla, King of the Monsters. All right, so this one is not going to be worth very much. I feel like the most comparable one is going to be this third one right here. It has a slip cover. However, they are not top rated plus, and I feel like I could take better pictures. So I've got that on my side. So what I'm going to do is I am going to have it listed for that $3.50 shipping, and then I am going to list the actual movie for $2.50, and I'm definitely not going to have the best offer option turned on because that's already good enough. All right, let's look up the next one. The next one is The Thing. All right, so I got to find what's comparable here. Um, so like I said, I'm just going to skip through these top three right here because they're just stock photos. The buyer doesn't know what they're getting. And then we do have the, this one right here, which is $3.99 plus $4 shipping. And then we've got this one right here, which is $4.50 and $3.00. 65 shipping now I have of course I have the slip cover for these so that's a plus for me I'm also got free returns these people don't or maybe they do I don't know but they're not a top but it's not a top rated plus um, so I feel like I feel comfortable listing this at $4.99 plus the three dollars and fifty cents shipping so that's what I will do for this one Next is Unhinged. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm going to skip over these few. All right, so this one right here is going to be the one that's most comparable. Actually, no, that one's not going to be comparable at all because that is brand new. So that's a huge, they've got a huge advantage. This listing is probably going to sell very quickly. Um, within a couple of days, it probably will be sold because um, that is a really good, that is a really good price that they've got going on there. Um, and then we've got this one down here, which this one is very comparable to mine too as well. It's $8.95. Um, it's got the slip cover. It looks like it's in like new condition. So I think I'm going to list mine as $4.50 plus the $3.50 shipping. And of course, it's also it comes back to one of those things. You don't want to spend too much time trying to figure it out. Just get a price and get it listed. If you list it really low and competitive, you know, it's going to sell. 
All right, we've got Super Troopers Part 2. All right, now this one I'm not really going to be getting very much for. We have one here for $2 plus the $3 and 19 shipping. This one will likely sell very quickly because that's a really good price. And then we've got this one over here, which is $3.50 plus the $3.19 shipping. Um, that's also a really good deal. I'm probably going to list mine for $2.50 plus the $3.50 shipping. All right, so I have my list down in this notebook of the prices that I want to list them at. And normally I would be doing way more of these. I would probably be doing about 20 of them. That's how many I like to do at a time. And, but just for the sake of this video, we are only doing five. So let's just get into the next step, which is going to be creating the drafts for these movies. So when I come in, into my drafts, I actually have a bookmark for drafts. So it takes me straight here to save more time. I mean, guys, these little things that save you time really do add up and make a difference. So use bookmarks on your computer to go to be able to get to these links on eBay a lot quicker. All right. So I'm in my drafts and I already have one like a Blu-ray movie in here. So I'm just going to say resume draft. Right. This draft is going to be the same for all five of these movies. So I'm keeping that in mind as I'm making this draft. Right, because I'm not planning on coming back in here anymore and doing anything else. Um, everything else is going to be in the bulk. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? In like the bulk feature. Uh, so I'm not going to be in this page again. So just make sure that that is, you know, that everything in here it would be good for for all five of these listings. All right. So as far as title goes. I know that these are all Blu-ray and DVD combo movie. So Blu-ray and DVD combo movie with slip cover. All right. And then I'm going to say excellent condition. Um, and then I'm going to say no code only because I don't know if it comes with the code or not. Some of these may have the code, but I just don't know for sure because I bought these used. I don't know if the person used those codes. And not only that, my husband came through and I looked through all these movies and took the codes that he wanted. <laughs> So, I mean, I guess it's better than him actually physically taking the movie, right? He just took the codes. Um, so I'm going to put no code. Some of these may actually come with the code, but it's better safe than sorry, right? All right, so I'm going to say no code. And I'm going to leave it at that. Now, later on, when I am bulk editing, I can go through and take some of these words out. Likely, I would take out excellent condition if I need more characters left in my title. I'll likely take that out. Or, you know, like right here, if it says with, I could just take with, with out and just put slipcover um, if I need more characters. But for now, this is just what I'm going to leave it at. Okay, so we're just going to come through. I never use subtitles for the $2, that's a waste of your money to skip through that. Next, custom label. I like to use, um, so mine says 522 because it is May of 2022. That's when I'm listing this. It just helps me to know like when I'm running promotions and when I'm dropping prices on things, having that custom label on there really helps me out a lot to determine, oh, this is how long I've had this item. Also, when people send me offers, I also look at my custom I label to be like, well, how long have I had this? So I always put that. And then if I need to also put in like an inventory number, I'll just skip it and see, you could see that some of the other ones that I've used before. Uh, like this was probably a plush because I think my bin eight is a plush. So if I was selling a plush, I would have that it was a bin eight. But because I keep all my movies in the same place, I don't need to do that. I'll know exactly where to find it anyways. So I'm just leaving it at 522. Um, we've got the right category that it's under. I'm going to leave the UPC alone for now. I will be putting the UPC in 
later um, when I do the bulk editing. And I'm going to leave it at very good. Uh, I don't know. I kind of go back and forth between using very good and like new. The reason why I don't, I, I like to use like new because it helps sell the item faster, but I also don't like using it because a buyer will use that against you. Like any little thing, like if they can find, I don't know if you can see like right here, hold on. See how it's a little like dented in the corners right there on the slip cover? Like somebody will seriously be like, it wasn't like new because of that. And then they'll use that against you when everything about it is like actually like in really, really excellent condition. They'll find that one little thing to complain about. So I, so that's the reason why I don't like to use the like new, but I kind of go back and forth with this. I would love to hear your opinions on this in the comments below and see what you think about it. Like, what do you use? If you do have something that you feel like does consider being like new do you still use like new or what do you do just let me know uh that would help me out a lot because i i i go back and forth with this one um i think for now i'm gonna leave it at very good and then in the condition description this always changes too as well but for right now i will leave this alone please see photos in the description um we'll just leave it at that and the format right here now the last time i was working on some drafts i was listing some dvds but now i am listing blu-ray so i'm going to go ahead and change this one right now to just blu-ray um but even though it does all these also do come with the dvd so it wouldn't be the end of the world if i did have it at dvd but the problem is if somebody's searching they're going to search for most people are probably going to be searching for blu-ray over dvd so that would narrow down your, your, your searching. You would get less views. So I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave a movie and title alone because when I do scan the barcode on the back of these movies, it will put that information in there for me. So I don't need to do that. And I leave all this other stuff alone because of the fact that it's going to, the, the, this number right here is going to put all the information in there for me. I know some people do like to put extra stuff, but because I'm only making like $2.50 off of some of these, I'm not going to waste my time going into all of that, right? So I'm leaving it alone. And I do have a, um, like a custom, like this thing I have in the description, I'm going to leave this alone. Um, under condition in excellent pre-owned condition, no noticeable scratches that I could find on the disc. I display the actual item in the photo so you can see the details of the condition. Um, shipping. I normally ship within one business day and I have all proper shipping supplies on hand. Okay, so for digital code, I have, if it comes with a code, I do not know if it will work. Plan for it to not come with a working code just to be safe. And that's just 100% being honest. Customer service. I take pride in having excellent customer service, 20 years of experience. I strive to make every single person who purchased from me happy. Please reach out if there's a problem with your order. I ship from a clean and smoke-free home. Thank you so much for supporting my small business. I have that on every single one of my listings, not just DVDs. All right, and then when it comes to pricing, I'm going to leave the price alone because I'm going to put the pricing when I bulk edit everything. Um, none of these I'm going to have best offer turned on because I already have them listed very competitive, competitively. Other resellers like to use the technique where they list their items a little bit higher and then have that best offer option turned on because eBay likes best offer. Um, and I like to have best offer turn on only because I know that eBay likes it. And I think they kind of favor that a little bit in the algorithm. So that is a technique that other resellers use. They'll list their items a little bit higher. They'll run promotions on them. And then they'll, um, they'll have like offers turned on on it. I actually like the technique more of just listing it low from the get go, not playing, you know, games with the buyers and just like, this is just a very low price. Just buy it and I'll ship it to you quickly and that will be the end of it. So that's kind of like how I like to do things. Again, my way may not be the best way, but it is the best way for me. It's how I just like to run things. All right. So I do turn on require immediate play payment with buy it now. Um, I do offer domestic returns, 30 days, um, seller pays for returns. 
I can make a whole video talking about returns. I'm not going to go into details in this video explaining to you why I do it because there's just so, it, it's very deep, right? And it's just something that I've tried. Like, I'm not going to go and watch another YouTube video and be like, oh, returns work for them. So that's why I'm going to have returns turned on. No. And I wouldn't re recommend that you also have returns turned on only because I say that it, it works. Like, the best thing to do when it comes to like policies and stuff like this is to try it. Try free returns, try buyer pays returns, try having no returns turned on and just see which one works best for you. That's the best way to know. All right, so then we come down here to shipping. Um, so normally, so what I have it set at right now is the media mail, $3.49. Now, right now, the way the, the cost of um, USPS charges $3.19 for media mail, and it doesn't matter if the item weighs 4 ounces or if it weighs 15 ounces. As long as it's under 1 pound, it's going to be $3.19, right? Um, I do upcharge a little bit for my shipping on this. I've already explained to you why. All right, and then I'm going to leave it as a, um, dimensions in the 9 by 1 by 6. I do ship it in this just standard size envelope. I do buy these in bulk because I go through these very quickly. I normally buy like two or 300 at a time and my cost comes out to about 10 cents an envelope, I think, I think. Um, so there's that. So I leave it at that. Um, I do like, to promote it at 1% and it's all done. Sometimes I'll just go back and just make sure everything looks good, which it does. And I'm going to say save as draft. All right, so now I have this new draft and I've got five movies that I'm going to be listing. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to click on the draft I'm going to say create a copy and I'm going to say I want five. Now I know by saying five, now I'm going to have six, but it's okay because I want to save um, the first one I made for later when I go through and make more. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to say resume drafts. And this is where I was talking about editing everything in bulk. So now what I'm gonna do, the first thing that I always do is now I'm gonna enter in the UPC for each of these. Uh, because once I do that, over here under photos, it's gonna show me a photo of the movies, right? So we're gonna just click on the first one. And I am going to start my scanning. And I don't even have to hit enter or anything. It just automatically goes down to the next line. All right, and there they are. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm clicking on the buy it now price and I'm bringing back out my list that I made that has all my prices on it. So the shape 450 and then I just hit enter and then it goes down to the next line. Now, if you're gonna add these up, I think it only comes out to about $19. So this is what you gotta think. Is it worth your time to list these? And I know that that's probably what you're thinking as you're watching me do this. Is it worth it? Now, of course, I'm going a lot slower because I'm showing you how I do it. But when I'm doing this just on my own, I go through these really quickly, especially since I do it all the time. It just really comes natural for me. And I can say on average, I could probably go through the whole process of listing these movies, taking the pictures and everything, and having 20 of these listed within an hour. And that's just me going at my normal pace. It's not me 
trying hard to go fast and get more. This is just, that would just be like my normal pace would be to list 20. So listing these five, I would say is probably going to be taking up about 15 minutes of my time. Now you can ask yourself is $19. Well, you know, eBay is going to keep some of that. And then you got taxes. You're probably making like 15, $16. Is that worth your time? 15 minutes of your time, is it worth like $16? To me it is because, well, for one, these ones are kind of lower than usual. I'm sure I have a huge box. I'm sure I'm going to find some of them that are gems that are going to be worth more. And, you know, those kind of help balance them out a little bit too. But not only that, I've just come to notice that these small listings on your store of media really does help you help your store in general just do good so these small items actually help you sell the bigger items because these listings are going to be bringing traffic into your store and the more items that sell like just the the more healthier your store is and the better your store becomes and the more traffic your store generates. So for me personally, I would say, yes, it is worth it for me to do this. And not only that, I like listing these DVDs. This process that I'm showing you is fun to me. It may not be worth it for you or for somebody else, but that's just a decision that you have to make. All right. So we've got the pricing in and once we scanned the UPC codes that also like when you look over here at item specs, now look at now there's all these specs that are in here. Um, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to go back and I'm going to take out, look at right here where it says 12 specs are com um, com completed, right? I'm going to take out the UPC altogether. I'm going to remove it. And look at now it's only two. So by putting in the UPC, you are putting in these specs. So that saves you all that time of having to do that. So that's why putting in that UPC number is so important and will save you so much time. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to update these titles. So the first one is the shape of water. Oh, see, I don't have space. So I'm going to take out excellent condition. The shape of water. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Next movie is super. Okay, don't have space. I'm just going to take out condition and leave excellent. And I'm going to say super. Troopers 2, done. Next one is Unhinge. Unhinge, done. Next one, The Thing. And then the last one, oh, I'm definitely going to have to take out some of these words. I'll take out Excellent Condition altogether. And then I'm going to say... Godzilla, King of Monsters. And then also, just so you know, you can customize how you want your, what you want in your column. So you could just go up to customize col columns and select what you want your columns to look like. So the very last thing that I have to do is just take the pictures and upload them and post them. That's it. So now I'm just going to say, I'm not going to submit them all because if I submit them, it's going to list it. But if I did have all my pictures already on here, I could select submit all and then it would be done. But for now, I'm going to say save for later. And then you will see in here in your drafts that they're all in here. So please excuse my mess today, uh, but I do have a light box that I use to take pictures in, or I could take pictures over here. And I actually 
I'm going to use this blanket today to take pictures. And basically what I'm going to do is um, sorry, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. All right. So I'm going to set that right there and I'm going to take pictures of the front, the back, and then I'm going to open this up and I will take a picture like this. And then I will take a picture of the inside and that will be it. I don't take a picture of the back of the disc to show the condition unless it's a high value item. But considering that this one is not worth that much, I'm not going to take that extra time to do that. Talk about this little stand. I did get this at the Dollar Tree. It was in the office supply section. And I think, I don't know, let me know in the comments if you know exactly what it's used for, but I think it's for holding business cards, maybe. But anyways, I use this stand to display my DVDs, Blu-rays, and CDs on. And I think that uh, it looks really cool to have that little thing to prop it up to make it look nice. So yeah, that's just a little item that you may, if you're interested in, go check out the Dollar Tree. Now I have been playing around a lot with coupons and I do have a coupon on my store right now for movies where if you buy one, you get the second one 30% off. I do really like eBay's coupon feature that they have because you can customize it to any way you want. So I do have on there that the sale does not include any of the DVDs that are valued over $30. And it's just so great. I love people to buy more than one item from me because I can shave on shipping, especially when you are shipping out media. Because like I said, it's going to cost you the same to ship it. Rather, it weighs four ounces or 15 ounces. So when people buy more than one movie from me, that's great. I just started this promotion about a week ago. Nobody's used a coupon just yet. Uh, however, I have noticed an increase in my sales. So I think that also having that buy one, get one 30% off, it gets people to go in into my store and look and see if there is a second item that they want. And even if they don't buy it, it's still bringing that traffic to my store. And I think that really does make a difference. Always make sure when you're listing movies that you are checking behind the disc, just to make sure there's no crazy scratches. Even if it looks like from the outside that, oh, this isn't really good. The case is in really good condition. I'm sure the disc has got to be too. Never assume that. So always open it up and look behind. And then also I have a, a whole video posted about a time where I found a porno DVD that was hiding behind the actual DVD that came in the case. So that would have been just completely awful if I would have sold that and shipped it out to somebody who was underage or just shipped it out to anyone. I could have been in really big trouble. So it's always important that you are checking behind the disc. And when it comes to sh shipping out movies that have a value of $25 at least or more, I will always ship them in a box instead of a mailer. So I'll use this eight by six by four box and um, I'll wrap it in like plastic and then I'll put some of like bubble wrap or something in there and I will ship it out insured because you can insure media mail. I do not test my movies, especially if I'm trying to sell these super fast. Can you imagine if I'm wasting all this time putting these movies in and testing them to make sure it works? It's just not efficient. And not only that, it, as a buyer myself, I don't expect the seller to do that. The only thing that I would expect is if there was a problem with it that the buyer would take care of it, but I don't expect them to have to test it before shipping it, especially if there's no scratches and the disc looks fine. It's fine. So I don't worry about doing that personally. Now, if it makes you feel more comfortable to test them, then you definitely should. And then also if you have one that's maybe valued at a really high dollar amount, maybe that would be important to test it too as well. But just these like cheap little movies that you're making a couple dollars on, I'm not gonna waste my time testing all of them. But the best advice that I can give you when it comes to buying media is buying it cheap. Look up comps if you're able to before buying it. And if not, just buy it for really, really cheap. Um, I was at an estate sale last weekend 
and they had boxes of movies and I kind of went through and picked out a couple that I wanted and then when I went to the guy and asked him how much were the movies were he said oh I'm not selling them individually he said that he's selling them per box and that each box was $25 so I was like okay so I went back and I looked at the boxes and I started counting I started counting how many movies were in each one and I got to 25 movies and then I looked at how much were still left and it looked like there was still more than double left. So that led me to believe that each movie was going to be at, was going to cost me at least 50 cents. It wasn't going to be more than 50 cents per movie. So I was, I was cool with it. And just looking through, there was a, they were a really, really good condition. A lot of Blu-rays. There were a lot of movies in here that were sealed. So I went ahead and I bought three of those boxes. I kind of regret it and wish I just would have bought all of them. Um, but at the end of the day, I do know I went through it. I picked out the ones that looked the best and um, went from there. Um, the lady was kind of making, one of the ladies that was running the yard sale was kind of irritating me a little bit and she was being a little bit mean to my husband. So that was a huge turn off. So I think that really was the real reason why I didn't buy all of them. I was just kind of irritated. Um, but I knew I would make money, so I did get these. So th all these movies that I'm gonna list, it came from that. And that's just my advice to you, get these for cheap really cheap they're really expensive at the thrift stores and it can be so time consuming to to just go through all these movies and be checking comps and stuff like that it, i don't know it's just you just got to figure something out basically find a way that you can get these without investing too much time and money into it because as you have seen from you know just checking five random ones of these they weren't worth that much right and um, and then also something that I did forget to mention when I was telling you how much money I was gonna make off of those five, I did forget to include the cost of goods sold. So the, you know that's something that um, you do have to take into account too when you're when you're figuring out if they're gonna be worth you listing. In the description, I am going to link all the videos that I have on my channel that are related to media selling media online um so if you found this video useful and you want to go through and look at some of my older videos definitely go check them out keep in mind though some of them are old that's so important honestly i don't like to go and look at old videos regarding ebay because things just change so fast when it comes to this this line of business it's always changing so i always like to watch uh more updated videos so i'll try to link ones that i feel are still relevant that you can still learn something from um so if you want to see some more go ahead and check out some of those links in the description then at the end of this video i will show you a quick slideshow of the dvds that have sold for me this week um so we'll end off with that and i just want to thank you so much for sticking around watching this video i hope you found it useful at all don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed never forget when you thrift upon a star all your dreams will come true. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.